Hey guys, Delt here. I'm just going to be playing Cleric today and showing just a really quick how to rat. So we're going to be running Undead Slaying, Faithfulness, and Holy Purification. If we go into Crypts with Undead Slaying, Faithfulness, and Holy Purification, Holy Purification is going to do a ton of work. It's getting 20% increased damage to Skeletons from this and another 15% increased damage from this. So all we're trying to do is run around, pull as many mobs as we can, and get through the map. Perseverance is great because it's increasing our tankiness. Same with protection from evil in case we get into a fight and someone starts to run up on us. Blunt weapon mastery could be used too. Um, I'd probably get rid of PvE. I would keep perseverance, but that's sort of just up to you. This is 100% just supposed to be a run around the map, clear everything, and get where you need to be. For my spells, I'm running protection, bless, holy light, sanctuary, and lesser heal. Sanctuary and Lesser Heal are really good just to keep us up. If we need to run away from people, we have a ton of healing and a ton of sustain. Protection is also great for that because it's just a lot faster to cast than these two. And it's giving us shield. And Bless is giving us three agility and three will. So we want to use Bless before we use any of these because it just makes them that much stronger because of the three will. It also is giving us three agility to be able to catch up to people or get away from people. And then Holy Light is a heal for other people, or you could use it for 100 Divine Magic damage to an undead target. So if we don't go down into hell and there's black nightmare skeletons, it's also getting buffed by Undead Slaying and Faithfulness, and it'll really help us just clear out ranged mobs that would be hard for us to deal with otherwise. Let's get into a game. I'm also gonna take off my pants just to make us a tiny bit faster. It's only three move speed, but it really helps. This loading screen's fitting for what we're doing. Alright, so here we are. And just to show how good holy sorry, uh holy purification is, I'm just gonna run through and pull as many of these mobs as I can. Remember that when you cast holy purification, you should have your spell book out. So once I get these mobs all pulled, we're just gonna swap to this. Make sure we don't take any damage doing it. And then boop. I was expecting them all to die, honestly, but it's fine. They're just one more hit. And then we get to see what we got. And I did take some damage there. Again, I was expecting them all to die. But it's fine. Uh, resourcefulness is actually going to be great for this. Wherever those old shoes were. Because it's going to reduce the cooldown of fully purification too. All right, now you continue. And there's a person here. I'm gonna see what's going on, maybe. We don't necessarily wanna take a fight with this build. But honestly, I could just clear these out real quick and then see what's going on. It's a wizard? I honestly might just take this fight. And he should be using magic missile here, other than using his staff. But since he's using his staff, it just makes it easier. Um, if he used magic missile, what we would do is just put up our shield and block it all right now we keep going i want to break this pop And we still have three heals, so I'm not super concerned about stopping at this point. Holy purification's not up, so we just have to use our mace. It's 
Simplicity is a good thing sometimes. Alright, and then to deal with this guy, just put your shield up. Hit him once, put your shield up. Uh, it's not as needed for these light ones, but it's good to get into the habit for when you start to fight nightmares and other things like that. And again, I want to use Holy Purification on as many things as I can. So I'm just going to try to pull some more mobs real quick. We have four here and a spider. So this is probably good enough. We might have actually dropped one or two. Now nah, we're good. Use the quarter stuff. All right, so we have a really fun room in front of us here. Um, if we were playing Warlock, it would be a lot better. I'm just gonna grab this for the move speed since I just picked up these plate pants. Hey, perfect. He has low corruption, so we don't want to be anywhere near this. And he's hitting us with pains, that's completely fine. We have protection and perseverance. I mean, um, protection from evil and perseverance. So again, we don't even really need good PvP abilities to take down players. These two perks carry us more than enough. Warrock guy. Oh, I thought I could wear that. Um, that's awkward. more heals he had some stuff for us a blue warhammer um i might want to where did i drop my buckler is it right here cool all right and since we have used a ton of our spells at this point just campfire kit all right and this is cleric gameplay now that we've used a ton of our spells we need to get them all back if we didn't have campfires this would be awful but luckily we have four we started with two and the two players that we killed both had one for us. All right, so now, as I was saying before, the room that we're gonna be heading into is a very fun room to clear. There's stuff everywhere. Unless this guy cleared it already, which he definitely might have. Nope, he didn't. And so what I'm just going to do is pull everything in the room. If I can. Alright, and I want bless up for this. 
that hit us, but it's fine. There's a player there, which I don't like. Hello, sir. He just tried to judgment me, so we're gonna leave here if we can. He has judgment and smite, by the way. Take off these plate parents really quickery. <laughs> he pulled the wraith. All right. What are you saying over here? Brother, I saw you try to judgment me. I did. I came here to try to kill you. All right. Well, um, he decided that he wanted to kill me, and then he didn't want to anymore. So uh, I had to do it to him. I mean, that's fair, right? Swarmer hammer has zero range. All right, we got it. I got three minutes here. So uh, let's just try to grab what we can and I'm probably just gonna leave the dungeon at this point. Uh, knowledge cape, strength figure. Those are barely better. They're honestly not even really an upgrade, but we'll take it. So if I didn't end up fighting that guy in here, I probably would loot through all these chests too. And I might just grab a couple of them. And then we're gonna get out of here. I could also pick this up to get some space. Got two minutes and 30 seconds. That should be more than enough time. And if I wanted to at this point, the infernal portal just opened up. I could be heading out, but I think I'm just going to end the game and take the blues instead. There was a trio of blues near where we started. And if I can remember where that is, I'm going to head that way. I'm pretty sure it was down here. There's also the static here that might be free, but there's spiders there and I just want to leave now. But pretty good run. Could have been better. But you know, we'll take this. It's, it's fine. And again, if I went down into the red portal now and went to hell, it would be even better. But I'm just trying to show what we can get just in a normal run. But honestly, I'm just going to keep the plate. It's fine. We did have another player in here, but if we ran into him, he would have been one shot. So that's fine. All right. And from that one normal run of just Howling Crypts, not even going into Inferno, we made 
324 gold. On top of that, we got a blue warhammer with some magic power. So if you're on the smite build, this will be strong. A magic staff with some health. A oracle robe, some plate pants. You know, just some little upgrades. All right, and that's going to be it for today. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please just give me a comment, like, or subscribe to the channel. Anything and everything helps, and I really do appreciate each and every one of you who do it. And if you're having any other questions about Dark and Darker Cleric, Bard, or any other Dark and Darker questions, please just feel free to ask down in the comments. I'm always willing to answer, and I just want to be able to help other players get better at the game. And yeah, if you're wanting to join a community of people like Dark and Darker and other video games like it, I'm going to have my community Discord linked down in the description below. Feel free to click that, come by, and say hey. And as always, I hope that each and every one of you have a very great day, and I hope to see y'all next time. Peace.